go to our website, www.ysawards.co.uk, and scroll down on the homepage. There, you'll find the ePortfolio sign in icon. Enter your email address and password, then click Login. Under My Activities, scroll down and select the strand that best suits the activity you want to log. For this example, let's choose Developing Your Skills and Knowledge. Click Add New Activity to get started. First, you'll need to add a title, stating the type of activity you've completed. Next, you'll need to select your activity provider. There is an extensive list of providers to choose from. You can select the organization you signed up with, or undertaken at home, or select other and type in the details. Provide a detailed description of the activity, its connection to STEM, the skills you gained, and what it taught you. When writing, consider the skills you've developed, the value of the activity, and whether it has influenced your perspective on STEM subjects. Enter the amount of time you spent on the activity, excluding travel time, lunch breaks, or similar intervals. Select the date the activity took place. If your activity occurred over multiple days, select the start date and mention the actual duration in the description. Select the areas of STEM the activity covered. Add evidence where possible, for example, you could add a photo of your activity, or perhaps a certificate of completion. You could also include a link to any videos or websites used. The more evidence you can provide, the better. If you don't have any evidence, that's okay, just leave this section blank. But be sure to write a detailed description above. You can either save it as a draft if you would like to add more to it later, or, if you feel it's complete, click Submit. Most of the time, your assessor will be the same as your coordinator, so you can just tick this box to use their details, and it will automatically be sent to them for moderation. If you've taken part in an activity with a third party, for example, a work placement, you have the option to provide their details, so they can also assess your activity. Be sure to ask permission to share their details and let them know to look out for an email from Youth STEM Award. Once you're finished, press Submit. Congratulations, you have logged an activity. Use your ePortfolio to track your progress as you work towards completing each section. Once your activity submission has been approved, it will appear under the appropriate strand. What to do if your activity has been declined? You can also use your ePortfolio to track any declined submissions in the same way. Find your activity by clicking Expand under the selected strand. Here, you can see the activity's declined status. Clicking on the activity's title will take you to the page where you can review your submission and see why it was declined. Keeping the assessor's notes in mind, edit your submission to make the changes your moderator has suggested. Update your submission using the button at the bottom of the page. Once you're happy with the changes, press resubmit for it to be reviewed.